Hi guys, so welcome sa part 3 ng ating module 10. So problem solving pa rin tayo class. So example number 3, 4 pulleys are attached to the 50mm in diameter aluminum shaft. If torques are applied to the pulley as shown in the figure, determine the angle of rotation of pulley D relative to pulley A. Use G is equal to 28 gigapascal for aluminum. Okay? So, dito class, napaka-helpful na nung ano, no, paggamit ng internal torque diagram since marami ng torque ang involved. So, anyways, drawing muna natin siya. So, let's say ito yun. So, pwede ba uh, simple lang yung drawing ko class? Okay. So, sabi, ito yung ABCD. And then, given yung mga distances nila, no? Um, 2, 3, 2. Okay, and then, dito merong 800. Uh, unit is Newton meter. Dito merong 1,100 Newton meter. Dito merong 900 Newton meter. And then lastly, merong 600 Newton meter. Okay, so pipil ulit tayo class ng phase na i-analyze natin para mag-consider tayo ng positive torque or negative torque. So let's say ito yung axis. So dito ko si silip class dito. So dito ko nakasilip ha. So pag, pag dyan ka sa milip, therefore ganito ko lalagay yung right hand ko. Okay, so ibig sabihin kapag hmm, Ayan no, kapag finalo niya yung ganitong right hand, no, yung direction ng core ng daliri ko, same din sa direction ng torque, therefore considered positive yung torque siya. Otherwise, negative torque. So, halimbawa, ito. So, pag ganito siya, diba? Eh, pag ganito yung core ko. So, therefore, ito is negative, ito is positive, ito is negative, and then ito is positive. Okay? Kailangan natin yan class para pag nag-drawing tayo ng torque diagram, internal torque diagram, tama yung mga uh, direction ng ano natin. So, anyway, so ganyan yan, no? So, ito, ito yung A, B, C. So, ito yung ano? Uh, B, then C, B, A. Okay, so ang gagawin ko kasi magdurin ako na ulit ng internal torque diagram. So, so, considering yung point A as my initial point, so anong meron sa up point D rather? So, sa point D, ano ang torque na nag exist sa D class? 800, ba Pero, considering itong direction ng right hand rule, so, negative siya. So, anything above, positive. Anything below, negative. So, that is negative. So, pababa yung unang ano drawing natin from D. So, bababa siya ng 800. So, let's say, andi dito siya. So, 800 dito. Tapos, from D to C, so, walang torque. So, constant. And then, until such time, sa D, as sa C, so, merong 1,100 na positive. So, aangat ito. So, kung 800 yan, 1,100, so, mapupunta siya sa positive 300. And then, from C to B, so, wala na naman constant and then from B so may negative torque na naman no so from positive 300 bumaba ng 900 sa so magiging 600 negative 600 so nasa baba na siya and then from B to A so ito yon so constant tapos sa A mayroon torque na 600 so aangat ulit so magsi zero out na Okay, anong ibig sabihin ng class? That yung member C to D, nakaka-receive siya ng negative torque. Yung uh, C to B is positive. No? Yung C to D negative, C to B is positive, and then A to B is negative torque. Okay? So, ang tinatanong is, uh, angle of twist 
nung pulley D, okay, so tinatanong is, eto, no angle of twist of pulley D with respect or relative to point A. Okay, so sa last video class, ginawa na natin yan. So, kung hindi pa napanood yung class, panoorin nyo muna. Kasi dito class, isusulat nyo na lang ng directa yung, yung magiging equation na ito. So, yung D, tinatanong yung movement ng D with respect to A. So, mangyayari, yung para masolve yun, eh di kailangan, kunin ko muna yung movement ng D with respect to C. So, ito, movement with respect to C. Tapos, movement naman ng C with respect to B. Pa-plus ko lang yun. And then, plus, movement ng B with respect to A. So, plus, angle of B with respect to A. So, yun na ngayon yung total movement ng D with respect to A. Ayan, yung buong equation na. And then, simplify natin yung class. So, recall that theta is equal sa TL over JG. So, dahil same material lang naman to, tama ba? No? Yung all throughout, same material, and then, iisa lang din yung cross section nila. So, iisa lang yung J nila, at isa kay, iisa lang yung G. Okay, so sulat natin yung G binigay as 28 giga Pascal. Okay, so rewrite ko to magiging magiging ano, lalabas ko tong JG ha, magiging 1 over JG and then eto, so matitira is TL no magiging T nung D to C tapos length nung D to C. So TL over JG plus eto naman torque naman nung C to B and then yung length ng C to B and then plus torque from B to A and then yung length no BA. Okay, so ito na ngayon yung working equation natin. Ngayon, substitute natin yung mga given values. So, equal 1 over, yung J class, pi R raised to 4 over 4. So, binigyan tayo ng radius. Meron ba? A 50 mm diameter. So, binigyan tayo ng diameter na 50 mm. So, therefore, radius is 25. So, pi over 2 and then r raised to 4 so 25 mm raised to 4 yung g so 28 gigapascal so in mpa that is 28,000 megapascal okay and then times so yung torque sa dc so ayan ito yung kahalagan ng torque diagram na para madali natin ma-determine kung ano yung internal torque na nag-exist dun sa segment na yun. So, D to C, ito yun, di ba? So, ano yung torque? Negative 800. Okay? So, lalagay ko dito. Negative 800. But the unit is Newton. Meter. So, convert ko itong meter. So, 1,000 mm per uh, 1 meter. Okay? And then, yung length ng CD is ito. So, 2 meters. So, 2 meters. And then, convert again. So, 1,000 mm per 1 meter. Para ang unit ko, Newton, millimeters, saka millimeters ito. Okay? And then, plus, ito naman, TCB. So, ilan ang torque sa segment CB? So, meron positive, 300 naman. So, lalagay ko dito, plus, positive, 300 newton meter convert so 1000 mm divided by 1 meter and then times the length so 3 meters so times 3 and then convert 1000 mm per 1 meter and then plus Ito naman, TBA. Ilan ang torque sa segment BA? Ito yun, ba? So, negative 600. So, therefore, plus negative 600 newton meter and then convert 1000 mm divided by 1 meter and then the length BA is 2 meters. And then convert. Okay, so using your calculator, ano na ngayon yung uh, angle of twist of D with respect to point A.
in regions pa lang yan, class. Ayan. So, 1 over pi over 2 times 25 raised to 4 times 2083 times negative 800 by 1000 by 2e3 plus 300 by 3e3 minus 600 by 2e3. Okay, so ingat lang sa pagpindot ng kalkyo. So, sagot sa akin is negative uh, 0 0.11 and then, ano ito? 1106 regions. Okay, and then convert natin. So, times 180 degrees over pi so, rad. So, ilan ang angle of rotation ng D with respect sa point A. So, sagot is negative 6.34 degrees. Anong ibig sabihin ng plus? Anong ibig sabihin ng negative? So, considering itong uh, ganitong direction as positive, so, ibig sabihin, yung point D is iikot siyang pakabilang direction, no? Let's say, paklockwise pa direction by this uh, amount. Okay? So, anyways, anong sagot? So, ayan. Negative 6.34 degrees. Okay? So, da, mahalaga tong internal torque diagram para malaman natin kung positive ba or negative yung effect ng mga torque na yan. Okay? So, next. So, the shaft in the figure consists of a 3-inch diameter aluminum segment that is rigidly joined to a 2-inch diameter steel segment. The ends of the shafts are attached to rigid supports. Calculate the maximum shear stress developed in each segment when the torque T equals 10 kilopound inch is applied. Use G is equal to 4 times 10 raised to 6 PSI for aluminum and G is equal to 12 times 10 raised to 6 PSI for steel. Okay, so dito class, under na to ng ano, no? Tinatawag natin statically indeterminate uh, problem kasi uh, both ends are fixed na so hindi na natin makukuha directly yung mga reaction. Okay, so therefore kakailangan na natin dito ng compatibility equation. So anyways, so, solve na natin siya. So, let's say ito yung ano. So, dito yung shop. So, ito yung aluminum. And then, andi dito yung steel. Okay. And then, sinabi dito sa gitna class. No? Sa boundary between aluminum sa sa steel. Merong torque na equal sa 10 kilopound inch. Okay, so identify lang muna natin, no. So for alum, uh, diameter is 3 inch. So ilan tong length niya? Binigay rin ba yan? 6 feet. So sa steel, diameter is 2 inch. So, lagyan na rin natin yung ano, shear modulus. So, dito is 4 times 10 raised to 6. PSI dito is 12 times 10 raised to 6 PSI. And then, the length is 3 feet. Okay, so paano ang solution kapag ganitong statically uh, indeterminate na yung problem natin? So, ang gagawin natin dito class is uh, ikakat natin yung mga members para mapalabas natin yung mga internal torques nila. So, ganito yung discard naman dito class. So, ikat natin siya ng dalawang cutting section. Tapos, consider natin yung gitna. Okay. So, considering ito, so lalabas is para siyang ganito.
So, dito meron torque na 10 kit inch. So, therefore, pag pinutol ko yan, lalabas yung mga internal torque niya, di ba? So, kung pag ganito yung applied torque, so, therefore, sila magre-resist sila ng uh, ang assumption natin, pa, 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 ano, opposite ng direction, no? So, pag ganito to, so, opposite yung magiging reaction nila. So, therefore, dito, meron dito yung torque na lalabas na aluminum, tapos dito, magre-resist din siya na torque naman na nanggaling sa steel. Okay? So, therefore, makakagawa na ako una ng equation of equilibrium. So, saan man gagaling? E dito sa diagram na to, no? So, by taking summation of torque is equal to zero, considering yung ganitong direction as positive. So, the T alum and then plus T steel and then minus 10 is equal to 0. Gets? So, ito na ngayon yung equation. 1 natin relating yung torque sa alum and then yung torque sa steel. Okay? Next. Saan man gagaling yung, ano, yung compatibility equation? So, siguro kasi na yun dito. Compatibility equation. So, sabi natin yung compatibility equation, manggagaling siya dun sa relationship ng mga uh, angle of twist. No? So, dito kalas ganito yung mangyayari. Pwede ganito yung relationship na kukunin natin. So, initially, kikreate ako ng horizontal line. Ayan. No? So, initially, without the action ng torque, so horizontal yan. Gets? Tapos, papangalanan ko to let's say, ano? Uh, point A Ito tawagin ko itong point B. Ito tawagin ko itong point C. Okay, ngayon, pag inikot natin to nag-apply tayo ng torque sa B, ano mangyayari, class? Gagalaw ba yung A sa C? Hindi sila gagalaw, ba Kasi bakit? Kasi nasa fixed support sila. So, walang movement doon. So, ano yung gusto kong sabihin, class? So, pwede kong sabihin, class, that yung angle of twist nung C from A is dapat 0. Okay? No, yung gagalaw dyan, class, yung, yung loob lang. Pero yung C, kahit ikot mo to, hindi siya mababago ng position. So, wala siyang angle of twist with respect sa line drawn from A. So, kung marirepal mo, class, para masolve natin to angle of twist ng C to A, so that is the summation na angle of twist ng B to A muna. So, angle of twist ng uh, B with respect sa A. Okay. And then plus angle of twist naman ng C to B naman. Gets ba? Gets ano. Eh, so yung angle of twist ng C with respect sa A is pinagsama angle of twist ng B relative to A plus angle of twist naman ng C relative to B. No yung katulad ng ginagawa natin kanina. So by parts. So anyways, ito na, dito na ngayon yung compatibility equation natin. No? Dito na natin kukunin yung relationship ng uh, torque ulit ng aluminum sa kanang steel using yung angle of twist. Okay? So yung 3, yung torque twist relationship. So sabi natin, di ba, that yung uh, angle of twist nung C with respect to A is pinagsama angle of twist nung C with respect to B plus angle of twist ng B with respect to A. Okay, so, ayan siya. Ayan, pinagbaliktad ko lang class kasi parang masanay kayo dito, ba? Kung si to, si rin dapat dito si yung A, parang, parang ganun class, na? Anyways, ayan no. Uh, ano ba yung angle of twist ng C to A? Diba sabi natin, si yan class? And then, ito, angle of twist ng C to B. So, that is, ano, T torque sa C to B, length ng C to B over G ng C to B, G ng C to B. And then, plus, ah, ito naman is torque ng BA, length ng BA, 
J ng B, A, and then G na B, A. Okay, so yun na yung relationship. Ngayon, class, simplify natin further using yung mga given. So, 0 equals, ilan yung torque sa C, B? So, saan ba yung C, B? Diba ito yung C, B? E di, ito yung torque ng class, yung torque ng steel. Ngayon, kailangan natin mag, magbigay ng, ano, ng, ng, na uh, sign kung positive ba siya or negative torque, no? Kasi mamamali tayo kapag hindi natin na-consider ng tama kung positive ba yung effect niya or negative. Okay, so yung sabihin, kung sisilip ako dito, class, kung sisilip ka dyan, anong gagawin mo, class? Maglalagay ka ng kamay, di ba? A right hand mo. So, yung right hand, pag ganito siya. Tama ba? So, maglalagay ako ng right hand, nakaganyan yan. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan, para maging positive ka, kailangan pag ganito yung ikot mo, ng pag ganyan. Kaya ng ikot niya, class, pa-counter, pa, pa di ba? Hindi niya sin sinunod yung direction ng daliri mo. So, therefore, ito is considered negative. Okay? How about kung dito naman ako sisilip, class? Silip ka dito. So, lalagay mo naman yung kamay mo pa ganyan, di ba? Pa ganyan yung kamay. So, ayan na. So, sana sa susunod, hindi na ako magdodrawing kasi mahirap eh. Anyways, ayan yung kamay, no? So, kapag sinunod mo yung daliri mo dyan, Sumunod yung torque sa direction ng daliri mo, positive. O, oh, isumunod ba ito? Yes. Diba? So, therefore, this one is positive. Okay? So, ito yung T-aluminum, siya yung corresponding torque dun sa member AB. Ito naman T-steel, ito naman yung corresponding torque dun sa member BC. Okay? So, kung papalit ko yan dito, torque sa CB, ito yun. So, itong T-steel yun, but negative. So, lalagay ko, negative T-steel. And then, ilan yung length? 3 feet, no? So, dito ka sa formula na to, pwede tayong uh, hindi na mag-convert into inch kasi magka-cancel lang naman yung mga units dito. Okay? So, para may lang solution, so hindi na ako mag-convert. So, lalagay ko dito, 3 feet. And then, yung J, nung CB. So, ano ba yung J na ito? Binigyan tayo yung diameter, no? 2 inch. So, that yung J niya is pi R is to 4 over 2. So, pi over 2, radius is 1 inch raised to 4. And then, ilan yung G? Ito. 12 times 10 raised to 6 PSI. No? And then, plus, ito naman, torque sa BA. So, ito naman yung member BA. So, ang torque na nag-exist dyan is ito. Torque aluminum, which is positive using right hand rule. So, magiging T. Uh, loom. And then yung length is 6. And then divided by yung J. So, ilan yung diameter? So, 3. So, radius is 1.5. So, pi over 2 times 1.5 inch raised to 4. And then yung G is ayan, 4 times 10 raised to 6 PSI. Okay. So, ito na ngayon yung working equation ulit natin. Na equation 2. So, meron tayo dito equation 1. So, sulat ko lang yung dito klas ha. So, lalagay ko dito. T alum plus T steel minus 10. So, the unit na 10 is ah uh, Kilo pound inch. So, equal to 0. So, therefore, class, pag nag uh, two equations to announce ako, ang makukuha kong unit ng torque is kilo pound inch. Okay? So, dito magka-cancel yung feet, cancel yung inch raised to 4, cancel yung PSI. So, remaining unit yung eto, kilo pound inch pag nag two equations to announce ako. Okay? So, solving for T alum sa T steel. So, ano yung kulo dito, class? Kapag positive din lumabas, ibig sabihin, correct yung assumption natin ng direction. Otherwise, kung mag-negative din lumabas dito, ibig sabihin, magbabago lang yung direction niya. No? So, solve nyo, class, using uh, two equations, two anons. So, so, lagi ka 1, 1, 10, and then, 6 divided by pi over 2 
So wait lang ah. Okay, so ayan, so eh nabahala ka ng class ha, mathematics na lang yan. So lumabas class is that yung T aluminum is 4.576 the unit is kilo pound inch and then yung isa is um, 5.423 7 3 kilo pound inch. So, lumabas is positive. So, therefore, correct ang assume direction natin na pag-ganyan siya. Okay? So, ano ba tinatanong? Shear stress pa pala ang tinatanong, no? So, anyways, may torque na tayo. Makuha na natin shear stress. So, for aluminum, so that uh, tau max is equal sa ano uh, PR over J or T over pi R cube over 2 Tama? So, palit ko to So, para sa aluminum So, tau max ng alum equal sa torque ng alum over pi R cube over 2 ng alum Anyways, ilan to? 4.5 Five seven six two seven. Keep inch. Okay, so. Eh, ang kano siyang ganyan. And then, eto magiging pi. And then yung r is. Ani radius niya to one point five. Cube over two. Okay, so ano ang sagot? Ayan, di pala nakikita, sorry. Ayan, so T alum, and then ito yung pi r cube over 2. So, convert ko to class, ha? So, 1,000 uh, pounds, rather, sorry, divided by 1. Keep. Okay, so ilan to? Okay, so, labas is 863.21. So, the unit is, since kinonvert ko yan, no, sa pounds and then inch ito, so, PSI. PSI. Okay. And then, lastly, for steel. So, kasya ba yan dito? For steel. So, the tau max is equal sa T steel over pi r cube over 2. So, yung torque sa steel is 5.42373 keep inch. So, convert ko 1,000 pounds per 1 keep divided by pi. The radius na steel is so, 2, 2, so 1. 1 inch cube over Okay, so solving for the uh, maximum shear stress sa steel, ilan yan class? So, sagot is 3.52.85. The unit is PSI. Okay, so yun na yung sagot. So this one is for steel. So tau steel. This one is shear naman sa aluminum maximum. Okay, so check natin class kung tama ang sagot. So 860.21 PSI and then 3452.85 for steel. Okay. 
So, hanggang dyan na lang muna class yung mga remaining problems natin. Sa next video presentation na ulit natin siya iso-solve. Okay, so thank you guys for watching and God bless.